I'm Carol, I'm 67 years old, um, ran my own company, uh, a 60s girl with lots of fun, um, became ill with um, a curvature of the spine, uh, had a car accident and they realised I had two curvatures which are going in opposite directions. The car accident actually caused arthritis to get into the body and really brought me to a standstill. Medication caused immense problems for my tummy and I'm now doubly incontinent. I mean, nobody knew that I was going to be that sensitive to it and bless them, they tried different sorts to control the pain um, and, and obviously that's caused me immense problems. I was told I'd be in a wheelchair probably at the age of 50, 55, I took up water aerobics four times a week and managed to stave off and stayed working till I was 60 when the pain just overwhelmed me and I had to retire. I didn't come down to Dorset until seven years ago. The doctors here were very supportive. We tried various things at the beginning um, and then they suggested further sets of physio and the physiotherapist was the one that said um, I want you to go and see Professor Maz, I call her, always called her Professor Maz, um, at the pain management and she's given a lecture this afternoon, why don't you go along? And she and I hit it off, we had a laugh and she said I'd like you to come on the programme. And they spent a week the following week teaching me how to relax and I was a little bit sceptical, to say the least. You know, how is this going to help control my pain? Because at that stage it was, I, I think screaming level is a good explanation. Um, lots of tears and lots of time laid flat, housebound. And there is nothing more demoralising. And there is nothing more uh, isolating either. Um, but I went along to the pain management with a, a, a bit of, yeah, okay, I'll try, I've tried everything else. Um, and I went on their courses. It's changed my life, simple as. Just changed my life. It took me eight weeks to learn how to meditate. It is never as easy as it looks. I just take myself through a deep relaxation and actually calm the pain messages down by meditating. You, you take the pain away. I, I, I don't know how it works. It just does. And I go on Dorset Pain's website virtually every day because that website gives me support. And on the website there's a community, so if I'm housebound, you can send out a message, I'm laid flat today, anybody around. It's stopping that isolation and patients do feel isolated. I mean the pain management community as a whole, the help and support, because they actually do understand living with pain can be still living. And there's a huge difference because I wasn't living before. I really wasn't living. I was just existing day to day. The iPad saves my life so many times. I've got a little app that I put on and whatever I'm doing, it sends me two reminders. If ever so useful, you know. Reading on here, my hands are really bad with arthritis. If I'm holding a book, I can probably read four or five pages. On here, I prop it up, one press, it turns a page. I haven't got to worry that my hands are not going to operate, you know. The iPad also has different apps on for my meditation, mindfulness, um, all sorts really. <laughs> I think that a lot of the things that I do on my iPad are really forms of distraction which anybody could do. This as a social thing is brilliant because 
I can message somebody, they can come back to me. You're communicating with the outside world. And I, I think that stops that isolation to a certain extent. And also takes the responsibility off of the nurses and the family. You're beginning to get your own. Take your life back if you want. I think that's the best way to put it. I've taken my life back by this change in life. I'm very optimistic about the future. I, I'm totally optimistic. My, my family sometimes thinks I'm totally mad, but I am. Um, because what I've learned is that I can live with these diseases. I can carry on living. I'm still Carol, and that for a long while had disappeared.